morning guys I am up bright and early or should I say I am up nice and late because I think I only slept for about an hour and it's getting harder and harder and harder to find places to videotape without letting you guys see any decorations so, so okay so I told you guys I'm not gonna make dead bird or dead cow tonight. So I am going to make an Italian dish called baked ziti, but I'm going to modify it a little bit. It does have ground turkey in it though, so it is a little bit of dead bird. Megan is on this really organic health food thing, so we are using this. And what you're going to do, so I'm going to put two boxes in a pot to boil. Be right back. The other thing you do is in a frying pan, you're going to brown your turkey. I'm browning the turkey and I am going to use my other half of the red onion and I am going to use the ninja on that today because it can be finely chopped pieces because it's going into a sauce anyway so I'm just going to cut this in some pieces like so and then I'm going to use the ninja again I gotta go over there so see you in a few okay so I chopped up my onions and I think I kind of parade them a little bit so, what I'm going to do is add the onions directly to the ground turkey and kind of mix that all in and break the turkey up into smaller pieces. So. Okay, so once your meat is all cut up small and browned, then you can add your sauces to it. We're going to try some new sauces. This is roasted garlic potato or uh, pasta sauce with chunky diced tomatoes and extra virgin olive oil, and it's organic. That's one of the sauces Megan picked out. And then, then this one is Amy's Premium Organic Pasta Sauce family marinara and that's another one she picked out so I'm gonna use both of them because with making the baked ziti it sometimes tends to be dry so what you're gonna do is you're gonna pour your sauces right in with your meat and I always put the lid on it and turn it over Ooh. Ah, there we go. so that any extra sauce will come to the top and I can throw it in there as well. Alright, so now we're just going to have that on medium to low heat and I'm going to put the lid back on it and just let that cook for a little bit. I am going to do meet the Presley's trick with the garlic. You gotta have garlic in an Italian dish, don't you? So, cutting up my garlic. Gotta keep those vampires away. And then I'm gonna put the lid on. Shake it all up. And my water's boiling for my noodles, so I'm gonna put my noodles in for that right now. boxes of noodles, strained spoon, and just kind of mix them up and let them cook. And another thing that my mother had always taught us to do is to add a little bit of sugar to your sauce. It helps to take the tart out. So. 
don't measure it. I just do a little bit, pinch here, pinch there, and I'm going to mix that up. I'm going to add some Italian herb to the sauce as well. Oh, there it is. So I'm going to open that up and just sprinkle a little bit of that in there. I don't like adding too, too much to it. I kind of like the natural flavoring. Okay, so I chopped the garlic up real thin. I'm going to actually turn the sauce off right now and the noodles too. And I'm going to, I'm going to add the garlic to the sauce here. Now comes putting the big ziti together. I almost left this step out. You need to get your bacon pan and you need to put a little bit of sauce on the bottom of the pan. Just a little bit like that. Because after you drain your noodles and rinse your noodles, you're gonna dump your noodles in your baking pan. I got more to do, so I'll be back. Okay, so you rinse off all your noodles and you put them in your pan. And then I'm going to start putting my sauce into my pan of noodles. After you dump all the sauce in there, you want to kind of mix it all in and it's kind of hard sometimes because uh, it's a little messy. So after you mix that all up, you're going to set it aside because you're still not done. Oh, it's getting heavy though. Okay, and now the final step is the cheese. And what you want to do is you want to cut some of the slices so you can lay them across the top. But you want to keep about half of the block of cheese to shred. So you have a cheese shredder here. Shred it into a bowl. Bring your pan back over here. You want to sprinkle it. And then what I do with this cheese is I mix this in. Okay, so the cheese is now all mixed in. And then you're going to take the pieces that you cut and you're just going to lay them across the top. And then you'll bake that on 350 for about an hour. You cover it with aluminum foil and you'll bake it on 350 for about an hour. And there's what it looks like. And that mozzarella will melt and it'll just taste so yummy. Okay, so Kevin's home and I took the big ziti out of the oven. Let's see what it looks like. That's what we have. Want a plate or a bowl? Bowl. Okay. Okay, taste tests. Tastes like baked ziti. Does it taste okay with the organic sauce and, and cheese and noodles? And... Tastes the same to me. And how does my chicken taste? It's pretty good. Good, because that was a new recipe. Well, it was the same recipe, I just used a different sauce on it this time. Has Doesn't have coconut in it. You're safe. <laughs> or apricots. Or apricots. No, doesn't have that in it either. Then we're safe. Okay. <laughs> and now I'm going to sit down and eat. Hey, everybody. Guess what time it is. It's time for Boomer to come here. Come on. Yeah, so yeah. I can sit down. Yeah. Yay! Yay! I can sit down! Ooh, That's not your best putt side. Yeah. Try the other side. Ah, there's Boomer. Alright. <sighs> okay, my friend Kaya Stoll asked me if I could say something for her. The world has lost one of the greatest fashion designers, Oscar De Laurenti. 
he passed away today. Our thoughts and prayers go out to his family. Now, I have to say, we have been pushing for Halloween Horror Nights, which was our Universal Studios. Oh. Squirrel! <laughs> Sorry, I don't like when my glasses are on top of my head with my headband. Um, we have been pushing for our Halloween Horror Nights, which was our Universal Studios trip, to hit 500 views. It's at 508 views. Yay! But our Not Scary Farm trip is only at 261 views. Yeah. Yeah, we need to get that one up to 500 too, guys. So come on! Just for Elvira. Yeah, Elvira's in that one. And I don't mean an Elvira impersonator. I mean Cassandra. Cassandra Peterson. Cassandra Peterson, the original Elvira herself, is in this vlog. I met her. She met her. She looks good. And 3D and everything. She looks good, I tell you. So, come on, get your friends and your families to watch Not Scary Farm with the neighbors and share it and everything. Come on, guys. Let's get that one up to 500, too. Now, I have been very concerned about Mama Kitty. And I'm getting a lot of advice from a lot of people on the vlog. Stop the tickles. Stop tickling me. I'm not tickling you. And... We got some really good advice from a lot of different people, but look, looky 888. I don't know if you're a cat whisperer or what, but thank you for the advice that you gave. Keep going, keep going. Thank you for the advice. Get your arm away from me. Get, get, get. God. Thank you. I'm not touching you. Look at what you're doing. I know. You're disturbing the cat. Okay, continue. Looky 888. I don't know if you're a cat whisperer or what, but you have given some really good advice. And I actually sort of did that many, many years ago with a calico cat that I had that was a stray and I rescued. And... I did something very similar to what you have suggested, so I'm going to give that a try, at least until I have to have my second foot surgery, which is on November 28th, and I won't be able to climb the stairs every day um, at that point. So I'm going to do everything you're saying, and then before my second foot surgery, all of our Halloween look are... Uh, Look what you missed out on also gave me this suggestion. After the Halloween party and my house is all back to normal and I'm not able to go up and down the stairs anymore, I'm going to bring her downstairs and um, hopefully bring her in my room and just make her, you know, try and keep her in there. I built up trust enough with her once to where I was able to kiss her and everything and I could do it again. I know I can. I just need that time to be able to spend with her to do that. And right now, it's just so hectic. We're trying to decorate for this Halloween party. So. Anyhow. Oh. We're at 2,299 subscribers. That's the highest we've ever been. We need one more to hit 2,000. 300! <laughs> it's time for Neighborhood Community Credit Roll! Yes, I said off the Halloween decoration in the corner. You're upsetting the spirits again. They're coming to get you, Barbara. Who's Barbara? Okay, do your thing. Do it with me. I'm, I'm, 
Come what you on, doing? you have to learn how to do it. What Why? if something happens to me and I can't do it? And I'll just say, bye. But that's not what our our, our sign off is. Then it's your sign off. Not it's our. Sign -off. It's the it's neighborhood your sign, -off. sign off. It's the neighborhood sign off. Gotta learn. Go. You are all part of our neighborhood community, each and every one of you. We would not be here if it weren't for you all. Thank you. We love you. Thumbs up. And we will see you all tomorrow. Boy. <laughs>